ESM. With summer only a month away, I'll be telling you about some awesome concerts you don't want to miss. More after news with Josh. On Saturday, a white 18-year-old gunman allegedly carried out a racist attack at a supermarket in Buffalo, killing 10 people and injuring three others. One of the victims, Robert Drewy, was from Syracuse. Almost all of the victims were black. The suspect, Payton S. Gendron, who who live-streamed the mass shooting on Twitch is believed to be the author of a 180-page document posted to the anonymous message board 4chain detailing his white supremacy ideologies and his plan to target a black community in New York. Jordan has been charged with first-degree murder. If convicted, he would face a maximum sentence of life without parole. Officials have said they are investigating the shooting as racially motivated hate crime and are considering a terrorism charge. Independently, the FBI is investigating the shooting as both a hate crime and racially motivated violent extremist. Finland's government said Sunday it intends to join NATO, ignoring Russia's threats of possible relations as the Nordic county attempts to strengthen its security following the onset of the war in Ukraine. Sweden has also said that it will support joining the alliance. It will announce at a press conference by President Sali Nikista, a Prime Minister Sani Martin, the move would bring the U.S.-led military alliance up to Finland's 830-mile border with Russia, but could take months to finalize as the legislators of 30 current NATO members must approve the new appliance applicants. It also risks provoking Russia, whose President Vladimir Putin told his Finnish counterpart Natisto on sa Saturday that abandoning the military neutrality and joining the bloc would be a mistake. On Saturday, Russia cut its electricity supply to the Nordic County. Swedish Prime Minister Magla Andersson on Sunday called the Russia's invasion of Ukraine illegal and indefensible. Adding to the country can't rule out that Russia would take the same action in their immediate vicinity. Both countries already meet many of the criteria for NATO membership. A new online map developed by Google and SC Johnson shows the people a mosquito forecast. The off-cast mosquito map is to be used to help people find and plan camping trips and good days to spend outside without all of the bugs. The map was made through Google's Google Earth engine. At the moment, the map only exists in the U.S. and Brazil, but Google is planning to expand it to in the nearby future. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This June, the ESM Mental Health and Diversity Gallery is having a new event for Pride Month. A section of the art gallery wall and website will be dedicated to LGBTQ plus art made by students and staff. This event won't take place until June 1st, but submissions will begin this month. All art submitted will be anonymous, however, you may request your name to be added. To participate in this event, scan the QR code on the screen. It will take you to a Google form where you may submit Pride Art and give further information about this event. There will be a mandatory informational meeting for anyone interested in trying out for boys JV or varsity volleyball tomorrow. Tuesday, May 17th in room D8, beginning promptly at 3.30 p.m. Please see Coach Ribzak with any questions. There will be a TALAT Take a Look at Teaching Club meeting on Wednesday, May 25th, after school in C4. Join the Google Classroom for more information. W4, NX, OEY, and all are welcome. Seniors, here is a chance for you to say thank you to a former teacher or staff member. Write a fist bump and we will send them for you. Please make sure that you put the building of the teacher on the back of the fist bump. You can also win a fist bump prize just for writing a fist bump. Okay, so starting off with some awesome concerts you can see at the amphitheater, popular country artist Tim McGraw is performing on May 26th. Some popular songs of his include Don't Take the Girl, Highway Don't Care, and I Need You. Another popular artist, Sean Kingston, is coming to the On Center on August 9th as part of his Road to Deliverance tour. I'm very excited about this one. I know many of you probably know his top hit, Fire Burning, and his other popular songs include Beautiful Girls and Eeny Meeny. After weather, I'll be sharing some concerts coming to the New York State Fair this year.
describing this little patch of rain, I wanted to talk about the blood moon that we had last night. If you don't know, a blood moon is when the sun, earth, and moon line up in a row that will feature the earth in between the two. Now, this is when the moon is in the earth's shadow and it happens about every three years. This is different from the solar eclipse, which goes sun, moon, earth. That happens about 18 months, but you don't always get to see it. Now onto our local weather. Today, we'll have a high of 77 and a low of 48 with some heavy rain, mainly from noon to 6 p.m. It's weird to think that that little blob from earlier could produce this much rain. Tuesday, might have a lingering shower or two with a high of 60 and a low of 46. Wednesday is going to be slightly warmer than Tuesday with a high of 65 and a low of 47. And Thursday and Friday are going to be a lot warmer and continue on into the weekend. And Friday and Saturday are going to feature a uh, thunderstorm or two, but very high weather and it's getting into that May warm weather. And with that, I'm Grayson with your weather. So there are a total of 10 concerts being held at the fair this year, and I tried to pick best known artists that you guys are familiar with. The first performers are a little old school, but they're classic. Boys to Men will be performing on August 29th. Following them is famous rapper Nelly on August 31st. Nelly drew more than 33,000 people to a Chevy Park concert last year, so if you're going to buy tickets, you should do it now. Also, 24 Karat Golden is performing on September 2nd, and he will also be at the fair. And all concerts at the fair are free, so I highly recommend you go to them. Let's head on over to sports, and I'll share some clips from a concert I went to last summer. Bucks 109-81 in Game 7. The Celtics will face the Heat in the Eastern Conference Finals. The Dallas Mavericks beat the Phoenix Suns 123-90 in Game 7. The Mavericks will face the Warriors in the Western Conference Finals. The Eagles track team finished third overall at the Baldwinsville Invitational on Friday. Sophia Jackson won disc hits with a throw of 99-5. And Okada Kwani placed second in both high jump and 100 hurdles. Margaret Madling placed in second in triple jump. And Amber Hayes got second in 400 hurdles. The baseball team beat Auburn 4-3 on Friday. Jacob Pacheco scored one run and had two RBIs. Daniel Gilkey, Nick Miso, and AJ Graham all scored a run as well. Carter Shore pitched a great game, throwing nine strikeouts. Track stars Mike Park and Rocky L competed at the Luke's Invitational Meet on Saturday. Mike Parks won the 110 hurdles with an incredible time of 14.6, and Rocky followed close behind with a time of 15.01 to take third place. In upcoming games, the girls golf team has a match at JD at 3.30. Softball team has a game at JD at 5. Baseball team has a game at FM at 5. And the, girl, and the boys lacrosse team will play JD for the league title at 7. And I'm Tanner with your sports. So I have some uh, videos of a kind of... Oh, I see no evil. Get it ready. Like That's how we my life. It's a Most of these are performing at the fair, also at the amphitheater, so if you're interested, go buy your tickets now. And that's all I have for you today. For me and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great day.